NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. They run it again with Williams. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. He is going to find Hill here. And that goes as a gain of 37 on third down. And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball, I'm about to make a big play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. They'll run it with Williams. And some space here. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Second and five now, Mahomes, and that's incomplete. Nigel Bradham, the linebacker, right there on the coverage. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. On the ground, this is Williams. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. This is taken about seven yards deep. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They had that 14 nothing lead, but that has evaporated as they go to work here first and 10. Pilot, 64, weak. 
Check the backer, check the backer. On first down, it's Scott. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. The last run good for two, here's second and eight. Now Wentz. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Scott. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Wentz. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Hey, Orbit. Check three, check three. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. Sunday, Sunday. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, Mike's 54. Mike's 54. Watch the run. From the gun, it's Wins. This is caught by Jackson. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. All square, 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter. Throwing on first is Wentz. This complete left side to Aguilar. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Come on now, come on now, let's go. On first down, Scott. And down inside the 15 he goes. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. The CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. On the carry, this is Scott. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken the lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14.